folks, I'm about to head off on a few days of personal holiday to go scuba diving in the Philippines with my buddy. Now, I'm convincing myself not to take along any real camera, and instead I'm only going to take a GoPro. Now, seeing I've been on a little bit of an Amazon rampage getting snorkels and things I need for the trip, I also jumped on, had a look for the domed housings that you can use when you're taking your GoPro underwater, and I decided to buy this one. So it's the Telesin, it's meant for the Hero 9 or 10, it's a six inch dome port. I'll pop a link to it below, they have nothing to do with this video, I just, I'm going and I can't help myself doing some kind of work when I'm on the road, so I thought I would take this along and do a little review for you. Let's get it out. So essentially this is it. Now there's a couple of reasons why you might want to use one of these. First of all, when you're underwater, this is just a phenomenon even for your eyes, things look closer than they appear and with an ultra wide angle lens like a GoPro, it can cause to weird distortions. By putting the surface of the water that far away from the lens, it can kind of mitigate that and give you a more even field. Also, a GoPro itself just can't go down to like 18 or 20 meters without an extra housing. And the GoPro's own one, which is just kind of this shape, once you get down low, it's no longer positively buoyant. The way the air compresses, once you get down to a certain level, it actually becomes negatively buoyant and it wants to sink. This, with all of the extra air in there until you get down really, really deep, remains buoyant and is going to be helpful to get out. So it's really simple. You just put the GoPro in the back. The housing itself has the little pod that the GoPro goes into. And that's kind of it. So I'm going to take it along, test it out, show you some of the footage that I create, then we'll come back in studio and I'll give you my overall thoughts on it. Now, before I go to the Philippines, I better clean this guy. Now, international travel means that I'm gonna be dealing with hotel Wi-Fi, airport Wi-Fi, all that stuff, which basically means it's not secure and I don't know where my data's really going. Whenever I'm on Wi-Fi that I don't own, I secure my internet experience with NordVPN. I've been a paying customer of Nord for years now. If you visit nordvpn.com forward slash Matt Granger, you can get a huge discount on their two year plan, plus a four free additional months. Now, Nord have a strict no log policy, so they don't record your data. They also block malware and ads and basically keep your internet experience safe. They have thousands of servers all around the world, which is great for me because I'm often working on the road and it's fast enough to keep up with whatever you're doing. Great for me because I like to use it to mask my location from the servers and unlock regional video content. So head on over to nordvpn.com forward slash Matt Granger, check out their plans, it's risk free with their 30 day money back guarantee and secure your internet experience today. That looks pretty good, let's get ourselves packed now and head off to the Philippines. It's been a while since I've traveled recreationally. Really quick flight over to Manila. Landing into rainy Manila. And then a transfer down to Mabini. We have three days in the Batangas, diving around a bunch of different locations. Let me compress the six different dives we did here into one montage.
Next up, we headed over to Cebu for a few days and squeezed in an extra half day of diving with some gentle giants of the ocean. Okay, now I wanted to wrap showing you some of these shots trying to get the under over shot. Now you might think that being a reasonable sized dome, that if we have the water like there, we're gonna see a little bit of light above and then all of this is gonna be underwater or conversely, if we have the water line here, we'll see just a little bit of under and then all of this is going to be sky. It's not actually the case because you need to think about where is the water level relative to the lens and the lens on this is tiny. So you have to be really accurate at getting your angle and the placement of the water line on the housing to get that effect working at all. And then you really need clear water. Then ideally you wanna have the sun at your back so you don't have too much of an exposure variable or as minimal amount between the underwater and over because again, a GoPro just doesn't have the dynamic range of a high-end camera to be able to pull that out. Having said that, that little limitation, it was so refreshing just going with this and then my little three bay charger for GoPro batteries. I was one of those regular people with a normal size suitcase and a normal size check-in that I could just put under the chair in front of me instead of having to lug along mountains of camera gear. So for a holiday, that was really nice. So look, the basic summary on this is absolutely, I think it's worth picking up. I, you know, having the wrist strap to be able to drop it, having something out in front as like a little protective barrier was also good. But I have to note that being a beginner diver, my buoyancy isn't on point just yet. And on like the second or third dive, I actually used it to stop myself from bumping into something because I didn't want to touch the coral and it got a scratch on it. And actually now at the end of the trip, it has loads of scratches on it. So it is a cheap plastic dome. You can't be expecting like a high-end glass one that's going to have scratch resistance. So be really careful with it because those scratches really did show up in a lot of the footage and that's a bummer because it didn't look great. Now another thing, my buddy who was using the GoPro's own housing and an older GoPro needed to take the extra lens off his GoPro to fit it in. And I thought, well, maybe that's a good idea. One less piece of glass, maybe I'll get a better result. But if you're using the nine with the metal face on here, it should have been so obvious to me. But then if you're pointing that at the sun or any, you know, the direction of light, that then reflects back onto the inside of the dome and you're going to get a weird effect going on there. So if you have one that has a blacked out mount, then you could do that. But if you're using one that has the shiny metal one, don't do that. The housing went down to about 30 meters and had no issues. You do see a little bit of water in around the screw points, but that's fine. The seal is inside of that and there was never any moisture or condensation or liquid seeping into the GoPro area itself. So for the price, I think as long as you're careful with it, it's a really good accessory. For now, I think I'm going to focus on doing more dives, improving my buoyancy, maybe using no cameras at all or just the simple GoPro one that will be less intrusive. Um, 
and then come back and maybe I'll buy this for a second time, have a fresh dome that then hopefully won't get bumped into things. But it's great that they include the cloth so you can cover it when you're traveling so you don't scratch it when you're out of the water. And yeah, for uh, $50 or whatever it is, accessory, I think it's a really worthwhile addition to be able to get that better cleared up distortion of having the, the water not right up on your front element, um, as well as the potential to get some of those split shots. I think it's gonna take a little bit of work, and if you really wanna get those, you probably do wanna be using a larger sensor camera with a much bigger lens, so then you can put that water line over a bigger surface area of a bigger lens of a mirrorless camera, for example. Let me know any questions that you have, and if you happen to be a diver, let me know what's on your list of locations to go to, having done my dive training in Hong Kong and then had my first seven dives in the Philippines, I think my expectations have been set rather high. So I'm gonna need to you know, keep chasing the dragon and see what great locations I can go to in the future. Let me know any questions or suggestions and I'll see you soon.